Hey guys, 8-Bit Fits here, and today we're going over transferring Atari 2600, Atari 7800, and Vertrex ROMs onto our RetroPie. All right, guys, here we are on our RetroPie website, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the dock. And we're going to click on emulators. It's going to tell us where to put our ROM files. So let's check the 2600 first. Again, it can be the 7-zip, A226, bin, GZ, ROM, or zip. It's going to go in ROMs, Atari 2600. Let's check 7800. Again, .7z, A76, bin, or zips. And they're going to go in ROMs, Atari 7800. And let's check the Vertrex. So let's go around the Vertrex. Here it is. And it's going to go into... RetroPie ROMs Vertrex, again, 7, uh, 7Z, BIN, GAM, VEC, or a zip file. Any of those would work, okay? The method I use to transfer all the ROMs is WinSCP. I have another video that shows the three different methods to go ahead and do it. Uh, feel free to check that out. It'll be linked up above here. Uh, so let's do the Atari 2600 first. So we'll go on the right-hand side is where our RetroPie is, and left-hand side is going to be our PC. So we'll go to Atari 2600. And we're going to select all of these ROMs, and we're going to drag them right on over. These are relatively small files, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time to bring all these over. Okay, there's the Atari 2600. So now we'll jump up to the Atari 7800. And we're going to skip the 5200 just because it's a little bit trickier with the 5200 uh, because the 5200 and the Atari 800, they share the same emulator. So there's a few other things you have to do on that. So we're going to cover those two in a different video just so that way we can be focused on that and not having to do a whole bunch of stuff. So again, we're transferring the, uh, the Atari 7800 ROMs over. They're all done. So let's go ahead and do the Vertrex now. So again, we'll go to the Vertrex folder. And then on my PC, we will go into the Vertrex folder, and let's go ahead and bring all these over. All done. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch over to RetroPie, and let's give it a restart. All right, here we are on RetroPie, and again, our RetroPie was on while we were transferring that over. So we're going to go ahead and we'll get the Start button, and we're going to go to Quit, and we're just going to restart Emulation Station. Yep, really restart. This will reload the Emulation Station. And it should show up as Atari 2600, 7800, and the Vertrex should show up now. So let's see. So here's the Atari 2600. Here's the Atari 7800. And Vertrex is right here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what games work. All right. So again, we haven't scraped any of these yet. So let's, uh, let's try everyone's favorite game for the Atari 2600, which is E.T. And it's working. There's our lovely ET coming down. Moving around, no problem. Both D-pad and joystick are working okay. So that's great. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And let's try our Atari 7800. Uh, let's do Asteroids Deluxe. That was the wrong button. And we're up and running. No problem whatsoever. Again, D-pad and joystick running, no problem. My shield works, all the buttons seem to be working, no problem. All right, so that's good news. Let's try that last one, the Vertrex. Now, this was one of those weird systems that had its own monitor that you had to use and everything, so let's, uh, let's see how this does in here. I've never... I've never played any of these games before, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's go to Armor Attack. And it's working.
Oh, that sounds awesome. There we go. Shot down that helicopter. Killed that tank. So, yep, it seems to be working fine. Let's do some tank donuts, right? So there you have it. We've got our Atari 2600, we've got our Vertrex, and we've got our Atari 7800 all loaded up, and they are running perfectly. Well, there you have it, guys. Our Atari 2600 is up and running, our Atari 7800 is up and running, and our Vertrex is up and running. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're going to go over our handheld consoles next, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Sega Game Gear. Uh, so make sure you hit that notify button, hit that subscribe button, and you leave a like and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.